I'm here at Cornell to help the university celebrate the distinguished alumna from 1875 and Professor Emerita, Anna Botsford Comstock. She was one of very few women at the time earning a degree, so in that regard, a, a real pioneer for women. She was a wonderful scientific illustrator. She had a very curious mind. She loved nature. She was a very warm human being, so she was willing to help others. She was appointed the first woman of faculty rank at Cornell in 1913, assistant professor. Anna, together with Liberty Hyde Bailey, who was, I think, a great champion for Cornell University, but also for Anna, early on enlisted her help in what came to be known as the nature study movement in this country, which spanned about 40 years from about 1890 to 1930. Anna, together with Liberty Hyde Bailey and others, were very instrumental in spearheading that movement. They developed the curricula that would be teaching the future teachers who would then go out and teach children about nature study. She became department chair of the nature study department. She was a welcoming person and helpful person to all of the students. And so the impact that teachers have on their students who then go out and have impact can be tremendous, and I think that that's also a clear impact that she had.